Today we'll be speaking to Hari Sankar, who just graduated from an economics program from OP Jindal Global University and is now headed to do his master's at applied economics at NTU. So Hari, to start off, could you tell us more about the courses you took at OP Jindal before deciding to do your master's? Yeah. So, hi, Sean. I'm really glad I'm doing this video with you. Um, so I had studied economics in my undergraduate and the first one and a half years was online due to COVID. Um, I went back in Feb 2022 and it's hardly been a year and a half since I was in college physically. And this was during my second, uh, end of second semester, uh, a second year. So I was just beginning my third year at that point of time. So yeah, so the final year we just cover electives. So some of the electives that I had taken are uh, advanced mathematics, behavioral economics, and uh, health economics. And these are quite advanced because these are postgraduate level courses which are uh, given at OP Jindal. And also we had a few core courses like international trade, money and banking. Uh, we had something called equity and fairness, which talks about justice and economic justice and all those. And also Indian economy was another course, course that we had. Thanks for giving you the giving me the overview. I think it's really good that you did courses outside economics, you know, in the fields of finance and just understanding those concepts as well. So my next question is mainly about your uh, recent admission uh, at Nanyang. So could you tell us more about the Applied Economics program? Yeah, so like, by the end of the, or by the end of my undergraduate degree, I figured out that I would probably watch and I had finalized. In fact, I had applied to NTU at a very late stage, and I'll be going for the November intake this year. So, and this is a master's in applied economics program, which is quite different from the general economics masters because it's more applied learning with more uh, with more use of econometrics and data analysis as part of the subject you know curriculum and uh, uh, Nanyang Technology University provides us with uh, with three different specializations one in financial economics one in machine learning and data analysis and the other one is analytical economics which covers some of the mainstream economic subjects like behavioral economics and urban economics health economics, etc. And uh, yeah, so the focus is on more quant, right, uh, for your master's level, because as you might have known, economics is quite a quantitative discipline. And it definitely helps uh, if you have strong math and stats background. Yeah, and I think your OP Jindal degree really helped you, you know, sort of get a good understanding of econometrics and the other quant related courses. So my next question is mainly about the application process, you know, for Singapore universities. So what advice would you give to students uh, applying to Singapore and how can they stand out, you know, with the tough application process? Yeah, so uh, like so Singapore, Singapore universities usually have a quite a rigorous admin, you know, admission process. And I think it really trickles down to the course that you're opting for management, tech, anything, engineering, any of these, it's going to be high competition and even finance, for example. So these are high competition courses because they're just so high in demand. And, you know, nowadays with masters in analytics and such subjects, a lot of students choose it because a lot of the jobs that they want to pursue are, reg are related to that. One of the reasons I had chosen economics is because it gives you a good background for going into any of these jobs, say into finance or going into analytics, be it whatever. And at the same time, those who ideally go for a master's in economics are not specifically inclined towards, you know, going into finance or, you know, some of these other allied fields, which stems from economics, right? So when you have a master's in economics, obviously you can, you know, you can work your way through and try to find out work related to being an economist or working as a consultant, economic consultant, etc. But I just took a very strategic decision in making sure that I wanted entry to one of these fields, but at the same time, I did not want to go through the, you know, the so-called 
you know the ideal route which many students take i so i just felt i'll i'll be definitely having a competitive advantage over so many other applicants because of the quant heavy degree which i have and at the same time i'll be able to differentiate you know in a in a huge pool of applicants with a masters in finance or data analytics or whatever yeah and i think you know the emphasis on applied economics you know with your program i think when you compare yourself with students doing you know mbas which are quite common i think that would really help you sort of differentiate yourself when you are about applying for jobs you know you can tell employers that you've done econometric related courses which can really be uh, used in their uh, you know day to day operations so i think it's great that you've chosen a unique path towards your masters so my next question is mainly about why you decided to apply to singapore you know over other popular educational destinations for students to sort of go and study in yeah so as i mentioned i had my first plan was to apply to australia and in fact i got admits at some of the best ones over there from university of sydney and university of new south wales and monash etc but then what i really figured out was so applying to nt was not even in my option one of my like batchmates and i knew how much a stark difference in the program curriculum with more emphasis on practical training here at du and also at the same time it's a one year masters ideally and um, so you know the fee is also dramatically lesser and singapore is a major financial hub and probably seeking employment in a place like singapore might be competitive in the initial stages but definitely think it's worth the process thanks for that uh, just to add on another question Could you tell us more about how you applied for your internship position where you're currently working at in Chennai, and you know what advice would you give to students looking to do internships, and you know how can they differentiate themselves from other applicants? Yeah, sure. So I had approached BDO through my referral and some of the other connects, and you know since I had mentioned that my program is starting in mid November. I do not want to sit at home and not do anything. That's when I just thought, why not just take up an internship? And I was quite specific, you know, about the fact that I do not have anything, you know, in my mind about I wanted to pursue this role or any specific role for my internship. I was just fine with anything that's going to come up my by my way based on the skills that I have. And that's when I had approached BDO and. I am right now working in the financial and risk analytics team. So my work essentially entails analyzing you know, huge data chunks, which they have based on invoices and account receipts, and also trying to figure out any causality or any other analysis which can help the company because essentially the risk advisory is a part of the internal audit department, and this is where I think a bit of economics also came in, though it is not. quite mainstream you know economics that you usually call which we apply over here it's more of a forensic analysis using data and uh, it and also at the same time since it's in the internal audit department they also work with regulations and compliances so it's kind of trying to do an analysis try to fit the economic costs and you know figure out You know those things as well as making sure it is within the legal landscape as well. Glad to hear that you're making most of the time you have left before going to university. I think it's great that you're getting more experience, you know, in the accounting and business analytics field before you sort of start learning more uh, applied economic theories and applications. So thank you so much for your time, and I wish you all your all the very best for. Your, next adventure in singapore